Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007, your favorite show here live on Twitch TV. I'm, of course, your host, Jess, and joined by always, it's Dom. Uh, we've got a great show for you here tonight, but let's oh. not forget, we have a special guest at the conference. Well, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Whoa, hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we got to talk about our main event. It's a six-man battle royal where the winner gets a take on Umaga. For the World Championship in the opening match of the Royal Rumble. We also have a tag team number one contenders match tonight. The Mexico is looking for one more shot. This time against the Pitbulls. But first. It's uh, well, it's a very special match here. This is the winner becomes number 30 match. Between Charles Chungus and Johnny Knight. Wait a sec. What's going on in the ring? Who is that? Who's and who's the girl? Oh! What the heck is going on? Dom, are you seeing this? Who is this girl? She's just going at Triple H like it's nobody's business. At least I think that's his name. That's what I have written down here. This is supposed to be a normal uh, jobber match for um for the for for large martinez folks we have a she has a live mic oh hello my name is katie and i'm here to i just beat up triple h the woman revolution begun with me and folks holy moly i don't know what so her name is Katie, and I guess the women's revolution is starting. I yeah, don't. But, uh, you think who, you know? who did she beat up? No, his name was Triple H. He's from a local promotion in Greenwood. Oh, contest is scheduled for we, we had him to, we had him come out and face Large Martinez, but I guess that match is going to have to get moved to next week. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the following matchup is for the number 30 spot in the Royal Rumble. Introducing first, he is the hero. Of RTBW07, it's Charles Chungus. Yes, Charles Chungus, the inaugural RTBW World Heavyweight Champion, looking to get back in the title hunt here tonight. And Dom, I know you got a little hit ahead of yourself earlier, but it's time to introduce our special guest for the week. He is the longest, not the longest reigning, he is the most reigning hardcore champion. It's Jason D. Davis, the D. On commentary, Jason, welcome to the wow. table. Wow, I was waiting to see how long it was going to take you to introduce me. Thank you. It is my pleasure to 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 grace you with my presence here on commentary. I forgot I made you a cocky deal. Anyways, coming out next is Chungus's opponent. He is another former uh, RTBW champion. It's Johnny Nitro. Johnny Nitro. Don't forget that Johnny Nitro stole the World Heavyweight Championship from Charles Chungus many months ago. And he's looking to become the number 30 entrant in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see which one of these men are going to come away with that coveted number 30 spot. Jason, who do you... Uh, I know I know you're in the match. I know you're incredibly biased seeing how you're in it, but which one of these men do you think is coming away with the number 30 spot tonight? I mean... You, you cannot deny the dominance that Charles Chungus has had, but there's something about Johnny Nitro that just a, it's a it's a kindred spirit to my own. He's he's got the swagger, he's got the look, he's got the pizzazz. I'm going with Johnny Nitro. All right, Johnny Nitro, Dom. What about you? Who do you have in this opening contest? You're on Velocity. Oh, I gotta I gotta agree with Jason here. I'm gonna go with Johnny Nitro as well. I believe I believe. 
No, Dom, I believe in the Me same... Oh, yeah, I believe in the same exact thing you do. Uh, unfortunately, I think Johnny Nitro stepped on your <laughs> stepped on your microphone cord again. But Nitro, we would like to remember the fact that he did beat all three young lions at, in the same match. Uh, don't know why I wanted to remind you guys of that, but I did. I did get a little inkling that I should throw that well, in there. Is is that really all that impressive? I I mean, they're former tag team champions. Manis now has control over. We'll hear from Manis later tonight, I believe. Nope, just kidding. That's next show. Uh, but Manus has taken over those guys, but either way, we gotta get back to the action inside the ring, and a nice small package here, gonna roll him up, quick three count, no, only a two. Ooh. Very, very close there by Nick Patrick, Johnny Nitro almost got caught napping. And guys, this match is for the coveted number 30 spot, how important is it to enter number 30 inside the Rumble, Dom, what do you think? Oh, it's the ultimate advantage in the Royal Rumble. Like, you're going to be the freshest and possibly the possibly the best out there, in my opinion. As, two, as both of these guys are two of the best here in RTBW. Yeah, and Jason, you have gone on the record saying, F that 30 spot, ho, I'm about to get number 27. What do you mean by number 27? Well, if you look at history, number 27 historically wins the Royal Rumble the most. And the, the number 30 spot, sure, it, it, it seems like it's the, the best spot to have, but the, the numbers don't lie. And no matter no matter what spot I get, I'm fully intending on winning that Royal Rumble match. It doesn't matter what number I'm at. I could be number one for all I can. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Normally when people say I'll be number one, that's kind of it's kind of the, the death yeah. note there. Um, yeah, it's kind of a death wish there, Jason. Oh, I'm not a superstitious person. Don't you worry. <laughs> oh, but you might be a little bit stitious. Jason, next week you do have a huge matchup teaming up with... Um, wait, is that you? No, you're not in that match. Wait, are you in that match? That's a good question. What match are you uh, No, you are in that match. You're teaming up with the winner of tonight's Battle Royal against... Um, Umaga and one of your biggest rivals, Jake Montana. Mm. What, do you, what do you have to think about that? Uh, you know, if things don't change, oh, then that Nitro! match. Whoa. Oh, Look, I, I'll have a week. To, I'll have a week to prepare for that match. If you go back to Taboo Tuesday, the reason why I lost was because I was preparing for a triple threat match with Jake Montana and Akira Tozawa. Well, Jason, thank you for bringing that up because we would like to talk about what happened to Akira Tozawa back there. This man was knocked out unconscious, and there you are entering the ring. Do you have any idea what happened to Tozawa? Well, I wish I knew as much as you, all right? Like I said, I was preparing for a triple threat match that night, and the reason why I lost was because I ended up having to fight in a one-on-one -on -one match, which I was not prepared for. Oh. I hope, again, we do wish Akira Tozawa a speedy recovery. He has been in the hospital since that backstage attack we're hoping to figure out who that is by the time maybe, uh of his return but yeah. maybe you should ask jake montana that same question Ooh. Don, are you we, accusing jake montana yeah Don, can we get jake, jake montana? montana look yeah. i don't i don't know for a fact who did it i i didn't see the the incident occur but it, it wasn't me so the only other person i could possibly think of is jake montana minus if somebody else is also a player in this do we have the, can we get Jake Montana on commentary? I never thought about that. Anyway, speaking of getting some, Johnny Nitro, here he goes, spinning, ooh, and drop. Lands perfectly across the throat of Charles Chungus, but Chungus able to counter that and gets right on top, goes straight into a cover. He's gonna try to steal one here on Nitro, but it's only a two count. Yeah, very close there uh, by Charles Chungus trying to get Nitro napping again. That's the thing, that Nitro, he's not perfect. I mean, he has some great wins under his belt, especially against Chungus. He's had Chungus' number as of recent, uh, just to counteract, you know, Charles Chungus getting the upper hand in the earlier parts of the season. But Johnny Nitro has not played a perfect game so far and ring the bell. Yes, no, Giant Nitro losing the World Heavyweight Championship to Umaga. And 
not really been the same since, but I would I would argue he's been on a better roll than Charles Chungus has had since since losing the title. That's for certain. When Charles Chungus lost the title to Nitro, I don't think he's had a huge victory since. Uh, definitely has played a huge, um, a huge role in his lack of confidence. It seems like coming out here, but Nitro now huge elbow in the corner, and now Nitro looking to take control here. Oh no! He caught the super kick. He caught the super kick into the abdominal stretch. Remember, folks, this yeah, is nice. the move that took Apollo Cruz to the limit. Yeah, nice reversal there by Charles Chungus, trying desperately to stay in this matchup. And Jason, you speaking of Apollo Cruz, you've had some run-ins with him in the past. Do you have anything rude to say about him? Uh, you know, t t to be honest, Apollo Cruz, there there's something about him that kind of creeps me out. Uh, the man sets himself on fire each time he walks out to the ring. Uh, <laughs> that's called pyromania, and the fact that he's an arrested or institutionalized is beyond me. And let's not confuse pyromania with Hulkamania. Uh, again, next week, yeah, next week in action, Nick Hogan will be taking on Snitsky uh, in a loser leaves the Royal Rumble match. Which will be very interesting now. Nitro, about no Nitro kicks out at two. Charles Chungus with that flying elbow drop, able to get some action, uh, some form of retaliation on Nitro, and now Nitro seems to be suffering here with those ribs. Yeah, Char Charles Chungus arguing to Nick Patrick. Yeah, very uncharacteristic of him. Kind of the face of, uh, you know, he's been like the, the, the face of the company so far. And just, a oh! Nitro doing everything he can to, oh, that to hurts. keep Charles Chungus down. Ladies and gentlemen, if that hurts you just as much as it hurts me and just as much as it hurt Charles, put a one in the chat. Oh, he's going for the leg drop. He's gonna hit it one more time. Leg drop. That, Jason, you're right. That does have to be it. Into the cover. Doesn't hook the leg, but he might not need to. It is over, folks. And in 718, your winner and number 30 in the Rumble is Johnny Nitro. Very impressive win there by Johnny Nitro. But getting the ultimate advantage of being number 30 in the World Rumble. Yeah, and he's going to come out in the absolute best position that one can be in. And we hope that Nitro is able to stay healthy for another couple of weeks. It looks like he hurt his ribs out there. And, uh, folks, hopefully Charles Chungus can come back, use this in order to propel him... <laughs> what? <laughs> propel him into the, uh... Wow, I did not edit... There it is! Somebody just kept that camera on him for too long. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it's the Tag Team Championship number one contender belt between the Mexicals and the Pitbulls. And uh, Jason, what do you think about the, about these Mexicals? Uh, look, they've been very impressive. Out of all of the tag teams, I'd say they're probably one of the most cohesive tag teams in the, in the division. Yeah. Yeah. They've got some skill to them, I, I will admit. They, uh, unfortunately, they have not picked up a lot of victories. Um, both in si well, Psychosis had a couple of singles victories. But, uh, but hopefully, they will come out as victors tonight. And speaking of their opponents, these men were this close and I'm, i i know you can't see guys but it's about i'm doing the inch sort of thing with my fingers they were about this close to winning the tag team titles in their first go around it's the pitbulls yes the pitbulls coming out here tonight trying to get back in the tag team championship contention jason how do you feel about the pitbulls here tonight uh jamie noble scares me he looks like a man baby it's uh <laughs> It's kind of disturbing, but as you said, they, they came very close to winning those tag team championships. We'll have to see if they uh, get close again tonight. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to watch your words carefully. You don't know who's going to come after you next. Uh, but thankfully, you don't have the title this week. Uh, so you get to take the week off from getting uh, beaten up at the bar. I don't you know, know if that's a compliment you... or an insult. Why do you always go to that same bar? Everyone knows where you are. 
Uh, I just like to relax after a long night of work, get a nice drink, and, uh, and just enjoy the rest of my night. Is that too much to ask? Well, maybe you should go to a different bar. I'm, I'm a regular, but, but perhaps you're right. <laughs> of course, we all love going to the Ring the Bell bar, otherwise known shortly as Ring the Bar. Um, you can always pick up your, your Bisping cocktails, his signature cocktail, which is just a little bit less on the tail, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, yo. And speaking of, of some tail, Dom, who do you have winning this matchup? Well, I'm, I'm going to go with the Mexicals in this situation. Um, I believe they're going to they're gonna steamroll the victory here tonight. And Jason, what do you what do you have? Are you on the same page as Hammer? Oh, wait a sec. Jamie Noble into a quick cover. Two and three. No, he kicks out. Quick kick out. Double 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 That's Ben three. Nick Patrick's not counting. <laughs> there he is. He finally sees it. Oh. Kick that out was it. at least that was at least a twenty count. He kicked there. out at twenty, folks. Jason, Nick sorry about that. Nick Patrick, no, not even. Mind. You see, gang interrupted. Uh, let's just say I'm surprised at how much me and Dalmar are agreeing tonight. I also think the Mexicans are going to come out with a victory. As you said, the Pitbulls already had their shot at the championship. I think that the Mexicans, you know, they have a bit more drive to pick up the victory tonight. Mm. Jason, have you ever thought of yourself as a team? Have you, ever, have you ever thought about joining the tag team ranks? Uh, uh, currently, right now, all of my focus is on the Hardcore Championship and, of course, winning the Royal Rumble and going on to face the RTBW champion. But uh, who knows what holds uh, in the future. Interesting. Very interesting. Dom, what do you have to say about Nick Patrick tonight? Constantly, blo he's blown a few calls, even in the first match. Yeah, Nick Patrick, very, very off tonight, but you gotta, you gotta give him credit for refereeing every single match here in RTPW. That's true. The man is a, he's an iron, an iron horse, as the kids say. Uh, just going, oh, no, Iron Man. Sorry, he's an Iron Man. Uh, just going through all of our matches every week. Same thing with uh, the Ring the Bell Wrestling Hall of Famer Tony Chimmel. Huge choke slam, by the way, by Jamie Noble. I didn't know he could do that. Yeah, choke slam into the corner. That couldn't have felt good at all. Oh, psychosis now with the Irish whip on on the trailer park trash. Jamie Noble. Oh, psychosis. Uh, just getting that's super crazy with the roll up there right into the ropes. Not good ring awareness by the Mexico. Yeah, Irish whipping uh, Kid Cash into the corner. Everyone gets whipped into the corner, apparently. Yeah, every, everybody, uh, it's that magnetic field on the posts of the corners just seems to be dragging people in. And there goes Jamie Noble into that far right post and Kid Cash into the far left post. And now let's see welcome, here. Well, welcome Sorry. to the RTPW 07 drinking game where every time someone goes into the post, you take a drink. Every time somebody tries to grab an invisible title belt during the Hardcore Championship match, you drink. Every time someone does the Ring the Bell special on the ropes, you drink. Every time I mess up, you drink. You're not making through the show, believe me. <laughs> Indeed. Super crazy Got having some momentum here. Irish, never mind, getting Irish whipped into the magic corner. And now take a look at this move here. Let's see. Psych oh, super crazy. Caught by Jamie Noble. Psychosis now has Kid Cash in that front face lock here. And let's see who's going. Nice. Huracan Rana hooks the legs. Two and three. No, he kicks out at two. Cool. Very close call there. Nick Patrick right there seeing the shoulder come up at two and three quarters. And Jason, speaking of quarters, uh, a quarter of my life I have known Dynamite Mikey E. What do you think about the tag team? Uh, look, the, their work speaks for themselves. They're the champions. But, you know, I, I've, I've learned that due to uh, untimely circumstances, tech, championship reigns, they can come to an, an abrupt halt, whether that's uh, being prepared for a singles match at Cyber, Cyber, or Cyber Tuesday, excuse Cyber me. Tuesday. Uh, whether that be Nick Patrick messing up uh, a pinfall. There's lots of things can go wrong, and uh, I'm, you know, who knows? But they've been impressive so far. 
They have. And a very reluctant team for, for certain. Nobody thought that coming into this first year that Hardcore Country would be the prolific tag team of the future. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's the RTPW special. Super crazy missing his moonsault. There goes... Yeah, there, go, there goes his one opportunity. And now Psychosis. Wait a sec. Super... No, Psychosis breaks up his own pinfall. Why would he do that? Oh my goodness. Psychosis with a huge error. A mental error and then a physical. Jamie oh. Noble takes out Nick Patrick. That's what he gets. Jamie Noble <laughs> is certainly going to be fine here tonight. I mean, to be fair, Nick Patrick has has messed up a lot. No, wait. That was that was Mike Kyoto who messed up at Taboo. Everybody stopped complaining about him at Taboo Tuesday. Oh, sheesh. Sorry, guys. I get a little upset sometimes. Uh oh, super crazy. Super crazy going up. Is he gonna miss the moonsault again? No, he yes, isn't! Yes, he does! No, he hit it with the shins! It's the shin salt! Why isn't he going for the cover? I think his shins hurt, Dom. Oh! And that was balls hurt! Super crazy! Knocked out by Kid Cash and a huge senton to follow. And now the Pitbull's completely in control. Folks, we also would like to remind you guys that on episode 16 of Velocity, so not next week, but right after the Royal Rumble, Hardcore Country will be, well, assuming that they're still the champions after next week, will be taking on the Young Lions in a return match. Super crazy takes out Nick Patrick. Oh my goodness, there's so much action going on. I can't even plug our shows. Uh-oh. Psychosis has him up. Brain Buster! Wait, did he take out Nick Patrick with that, though? No, no, no. Super Crazy took him out before that. Oh, okay. He was already out. Okay. But now Psychosis, he has to get into the cover here. Nick Patrick is up. Super Crazy has... Um, he has Jamie Noble on the outside, but he couldn't get the cover in time. Now let's see what Psychosis is doing here. He's got him up. The fireman's carry. Hey, hey! Jason, do you have attitude? Do I have attitude? Yeah. Uh, I suppose so. Don, do you have attitude? Uh, I think I think Super Crazy kicked his his ox So. Oh, oh, big, big, big drop kick. Jamie Noble bleeding all over our canvas like it's his own. Friggin', put your blood back in your body, bro. This is not the time to be bleeding. Drop kick. And now just everything going on around us. Super crazy now popping over. Huge drop kick again. And super crazy is dominating Jamie Noble. Let's see. Uh oh. Kid Cash has him up. A brain Buster! Kid Cash hits the Brain Buster. He doesn't see super crazy and he literally gets drop kicked in the anus for his troubles. Oh man, what a match folks. These two teams fighting it out to become number one contenders for the tag team titles. And you've gotta love this type of competitive sportsmanship between these two teams. Both these guys, all four of these men, not giving up on anything. Uh oh, nice heel hook there. Psychosis has a nice, is that like an Indian Deathlock sword? I don't know, Jason, have you ever tried that move? Uh, I have not tried an Indian Deathlock or so to me. Uh, Dom, have they fixed your mic yet? No. Okay, they have not fixed your mic yet. Now okay. Super Crazy going up to the side. He's going for it. The ankle salt! He hits the ankle salt one more time! Yep. Or Psychosis can recover it. No. Nope. Psychosis with a low drop kick! No, that nothing, nothing comes from that. Uh, Kid Cash. Oh, there you are. And there goes Nick Patrick once again. They keep jumping all over your your microphone cable out there. Oh, it's, been, it's been a rough one, but Kid Cash is now busted open. Yeah, both That's members both of the pit bulls. Yeah. Oh, lost the lights in the. Nope, we got the lights back. And there we go, Nick Patrick in perfect position for the cover. Great. That's it. That's it. 
impressive win here by the Mexicals as they will go on to face the tag team champions. Yeah, next week. Yeah, next week. Hardcore country versus Mexico. Mexico's definitely earned this win. Brutal match. I agree with you, Jason. Blood all over the canvas. We're gonna have to change that for our main event, which is coming up right now, folks. Oh, wait a second. You gotta get one more shot of them posing. Folks, coming up in your main event, it is a six-man battle royal. Elimination style, not over the top rope, but by pinfall or submission. And the winner takes on Umaga at the Royal Rumble. Wow, what a what a huge field. You have to think that the five of these men, if you lose, you're going straight to the Rumble. The following contest is a six-man here comes, here comes one, one of the very impressive the members of the Manus family. He no is Morgan Wolf. Yes, one of the uh, he's, still, he's still a young lion, Morgan Wolf, almost world champ, former tag champ. This guy has somehow been all over the place when it comes to Ring the Bell 2007, and you gotta say he's gotten his start here on a great note, especially now that he has aligned himself with a free agent all star such as well, ex free agent all star such as Manis. Manis coming in and taking. Two of the young lions, him and Oliver Bisping, under his wing to get to bring them to success. Well, that's kind of interesting since they joined them. They have the tag team titles. Hey, we're not. I mean, oh, and here comes his tag team partner. But tonight, his opponent, he is. I'm waiting for the, the nameplate to pop up because it's kind of funny. It's the slightly older lion, Oliver Bisping. That's Oliver Bisping coming out to the ring. You see, since, oh. since losing his titles, he's grown facial hair. Yes, indeed. He is. He's forgotten to shave many moons after losing the tag team titles. You gotta say, losing your belt really changes you, right, Jason? Uh, yes, it, cha it, it changes you, but at the same time, it, it makes you uh, want to fight for it even more. And don't don't think that I didn't get that uh, insult. Thank you. Me. I was really hoping that you weren't going to overlook that. Speaking of being overlooked, here comes a man who arguably is a fan, one of the biggest fan favorites yet, somehow nowhere near the title picture. It's the Hogan Killer, Davari. Yes. Never forget that Davari buried Hulk Hogan alive and ever since has been coasting on that thing he's the one to kill Hulk Hogan let's see if he can get a world championship match here tonight be perfect speaking of championship and matches here comes a man who has Saint been Thomas so close to Island, to making it to the world title Saint match Saint it's Saint pirate Saint Paul Virgil I can't wait for him to lose his grip. Yeah, Paul Virgil <laughs> with the lights turned out. Yeah, well, then again, he has the longest entrance in the world, so we gotta oh, cut Paul it fast. And Speaking of fast, here comes one of the fastest rising superstars in all of Ring the Bell. It's sexy, Trevor Murdoch. Trevor Murdoch. Murdoch coming down to the ring. Ben on a complete roll is very very close to becoming the world heavyweight champion last pay-per-view at taboo tuesday yeah he got he was i mean it was a we found out later on that he did suffer a rib injury early on in the match and that's what prevented him from from pulling out a full victory that's why he lost in three minutes to umaga but the powers that be decided that he deserves another shot but speaking of, of sexy men here comes Team Sexy's very own Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose played a Team Sexy. May implode. You may what? Yeah, Team Sexy may implode. Really? May implode at the Royal Rumble. Oh yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. No, I yeah, see what you Dusty mean. Dusty Rose. If if Dusty Rose becomes victorious. It's... 
and he has to face his oh, tough oh, team that was fast. Remember, folks, Dusty Rhodes and Trevor Murdoch go back real far in that ladder match over the one. Uh, Dom, who do you have going in this matchup? I got, I gotta go, with, I gotta go with Davari. I feel like Davari is gonna sneak around and be, be victorious with that. Jason, what about you? Personally, I don't think any of these men deserve to be in this match. I don't think any of them deserve a championship shot. But, uh, you know, it, does, it doesn't really matter who wins in my eyes. Any of these men could win. Any of these men could, could beat Umaga or Umaga could retain. It doesn't matter because, again, we going to win the world. doesn't matter very, who it's from. Very confident. Um, that's crazy. Uh, Jason, think about this logistically. The man who wins this match right doesn't have to face you in the rumble you don't have to go through the winner of this match who do you hope you don't have to see in the royal rumble uh, again i could throw any men any men in this ring out of the ring in the royal match, but i suppose uh I'll, I'll say dusty rose simply for the uh, uh physical girth that he has. Now, i'm really turned on by him too i totally understand what you mean there but speaking of turning on devar trying to turn up Dusty Rhodes try to get him on his back, but Davari not heavy enough to lift the American Dream. American Dream, well over 300 pounds, and Davari just didn't hit the weights this morning and was unable to lift him up. Sorry, folks, I'm just reading some of the stuff that you guys are posting in our Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007 chat, and I love to see the competitive nature between those of you on Team Morgan and on Team Bisping. Very interesting how these two young lines kind of split the universe in half here. Yeah, it's a very interesting dynamic. Uh oh, it's the RTPW special. I gotta take a drink. <laughs> Wait, no, you don't have You can't take a drink. You gotta commentate. The fans at home have to take a drink. Now, speaking of drinks. Oh, so Julie. Oh. Right, here we go. Morgan, you. Irish whipped by Oliver Bisping into Trevor Murdoch. So. Unusual tag team maneuvers in this every man for themselves match. Guys, every man for themselves is just like what's gonna happen at the Royal Rumble. All of the oh, wait a sec. Pirates plunge! Yeah, Pirates plunge, that might eliminate Davari early. And it does! Davari is gone! And we are now down to five. I'm sorry, Dom, your pick is out. Oh, oh Dusty! Oh! And Big King's out! Wow, Bisbing just eliminated by Dusty Rhodes just like that. Unbelievable. Did not see that one coming, folks. I can tell you that much. And folks, I believe there's a small riot going on in the nosebleed section here. I think that's just Bisbing's fan base. Bisbing's family, it looks like, is very, very disappointed that he did not become victorious here tonight. Well, hopefully for Manus in the back, he's still... Oh, low blow by Trevor Murdoch in a DDT by Murdoch. On to Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, mean DDT by Trevor Murdoch. But he's Morgan not going to finish it up. out. Yeah, he's not... But he's not covering Dusty. He's won many matches with that DDT, and it's not doing him any good. Jason, what would, what would your fan base do if you lost a match like this? Or what uh, if you, you know, let's say you lose the Rumble, what is your fan base going to do? With my fan base, they are they are well-composed human beings. They aren't like the animals that, uh, you know, as the other people's fan base are. They, they would not riot. They, they would probably write um, uh, nasty emails, perhaps, to the company. Well, I can just Dusty, tell a nasty... Dusty Rhodes eliminates Morgan Wolf. I'm going to say that a nasty email is definitely coming my way as Morgan Wolf has now been eliminated, and we are down to three. Pirates plunge! But no, he doesn't capitalize on that either. Dusty Rhodes has taken two finishers in this match and nobody's pinned him. Very interesting strategy here by Paul Burchill. Equally wearing down on both Trevor Murdoch and Dusty Rhodes. And now a huge clothesline bulldog out of the corner. Dusty back in control. Now he's got he's got the arm of Hunter at Paul. And let's see what no. Oh, wait a sec. We'll do a DDT. 
onto the the living legend, Dusty Rhodes. And Trevor Murdoch missing with the elbow there. Yeah. No, I, I okay. Now let's see here. He's got him up. Pile driver. Pile driver. Dang nasty pile driver connects, but Dusty Rhodes going after going after Trevor Murdoch. Yeah, nobody's got. This is not. This is an elimination match, folks. I don't understand why these guys aren't going for pinfalls. And yeah, now let's Dusty see. Dusty Rhodes, Irish whipping Trevor Murdoch into the corner as as Pirate Paul gets back into the mix and not in a very good predicament right there between two big men and Dusty Rhodes and Trevor Murdoch. Yeah. I will so so Jason your pick is still in this match. Technically you didn't really pick him, but he's still in the match. Dusty Rhodes. Dom oh, Dom Ionic elbow. Dom, I'm gonna let you pick. Do you wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay. Who do you have now? Dusty or Paul? Dusty Rhodes seems like he's eliminated pretty much everybody in this matchup. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Dusty Rhodes. Hey, strike while the iron's hot. And we have everybody here on on Dusty Rhodes' uh, bandwagon right now as he's firing away some right hands onto Pirate Paul. Dusty Rhodes going for a, basically a clean sweep except for that one elimination. Uh-oh, grabbing the crotch, bionic elbow! That's gotta be it. Nice bionic elbow by Dusty. Dusty bringing him back up. Taking too much time as Pirate, as Pirate Paul gets his wits and takes back control. You know, Jason, here's a trivia question for you. Um, if Pirate Paul Birchall has, has treasure, rather, if he has booty, is he shaking it or hiding it? Uh, I would say hiding it because I don't think he's really got much to shake. Oh, that's just the, I mean, it's just the pants that aren't that flattering. But anyways, speaking of flattering, the Pirates plunge! That's gotta be it, folks. Dusty's foot is in the ropes, but it doesn't matter in this matchup. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. And going on to face Umaga for the RTBW Championship at the Royal Rumble, it's Pirate Control Virtual. Virtual, very impressive victory here tonight as he goes on to face Umaga for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. Unbelievable matchup. All six men gave it their all here, and uh, we will confirm that the other five are entering the Royal Rumble as of right now. So you will be seeing all of these lovely faces again come time for our next pay-per-view. Jason, do you have any imparting words, departing words rather, you want to leave on the RTBW universe? Uh, thank you. I suppose this was probably what, what was this, 45 minutes of my time wasted. Yeah. Uh, I really appreciate uh, having me on. I will be there at the Royal Rumble. I will be winning the Royal Rumble. Uh, I need to believe that. Well, thanks for coming out on commentary tonight. Dom, anything? No, I got, I got nothing. We appreciate everyone coming out here tonight. And, of course, stay salty. Stay salty for everybody here. Ring the bell. Catch us next Thursday night at 5 p.m. right here. Same time, same place. I am Jess, and we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thursday.